video 18, CCHE's Distance Learning Support. Hi, I'm Lena from Cook County Higher Education, and today I want to talk to folks about the um, free support that higher ed offers to people here in Cook County doing distance learning. So first, let me just mention what distance learning is. It's for folks who either don't want to or can't go to college on campus, or um, not just college, sometimes it's a certification program that isn't college related. Um, and in our case in Cook County, since we're so far away from any college campus, if you're gonna live here, you would need to do distance learning. So that's why higher ed exists, uh, to be a support to people doing that. And um, that can look like a lot of different things. Sometimes it's academic, like you need help uh, with an essay, um, or you are looking for a mentor for a difficult class. Um, higher ed offers help with those things. Sometimes it's logistical, like um, finding a class that fills a requirement for your degree or maybe you're new to online learning and you need help with the technology um, so we can help with things like that. Uh, sometimes it's non-college related. It could be something like ServeSafe for um, getting your uh, health safety certification for working in restaurants. Um, we can help you get that set up for an online program and then we can proctor your exam for you so that you don't have to travel to do that. Um, and sometimes it's as straightforward as being financial. Um, higher ed offers scholarships for people who are taking um, approved programs or degree programs, sometimes just certifications, and um, those can be up to $3,000 per semester, so they can be a really big chunk out of your tuition. Um, so one thing that's important to note is that a lot of people have been learning about online learning through COVID-19 because a lot of the schools, um, whether they're colleges or like our public schools, elementary schools, um, went to an online format this last spring. And congratulations to everyone who has graduated and is done with school, uh, well done. Um, but it's important to note that that, for, that format of online learning, that was sort of an emergency version of online learning. And um, that had to happen that way because of a pandemic. But online learning, distance learning, which is kind of different from that, is actually a totally different um, version of an online school. And it's set up to be a little bit more, it's more developed, um, the curriculum's more developed, the professors are used to working that way. Um, so just be aware that if you're thinking of taking online classes, they don't look the way that they looked for college students this last spring um, who had that kind of emergency online learning situation. Just something to note um, because a lot of people might have been put off by that and um, that's just not really the norm for online learning when um, when the program is supposed to be online and has planned to be online it's way more developed and uh, easier to use so um, that being said any questions about any of these options please don't hesitate to reach out to me I've put my contact information in this post and um, just remember that all of our services at higher ed for student support are always free and so we're here to serve you thanks and take care